this could have been a slam dunk for them. In all honesty, this could have been their like the proof is in the pudding moment and everything that we've said about Hollywood and the elites and all the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes with these major companies like Disney, Warner Brothers, uh, pick any of them. Any of these companies that they've said is corrupt or stuff's going on behind the scenes, they could have drawn some sort of parallel to what was going on in this documentary, Quiet on Set. You, you definitely have to check it out. It's on Max. It's on ID. If you were someone that um, watched a lot of TV in the 90s and the early 2000s and, and leading into at least the mid-2000s, um, you should definitely check this out. Again, it's on Max. It's on ID. And it talks about Dan Snyder, uh, who... Is, this is a recent video, just came out today, as far as I can tell, from Hollywood Reporter, where he's talking about this documentary. And, uh, you know, all of the allegations, the toxicity on set, uh, all the stuff that was going on that, uh, you know, if you were watching Nickelodeon back then, you probably wouldn't have known about any of this. And I'm like, you know what? All of these Chud channels, these Griff Tube channels... They could have really latched onto this. I heard about this documentary like two months ago and that they had a major, like a star of one of these shows was coming forward with information about abuse on set and that that was going to be talked about. And I was very shocked. I remember we reacted to like the teaser on a live stream and I was blown away by this. I've talked about it on social media. Um, and I was very interested to see what was going on. And hopeful that this documentary was giving an actual platform to people that needed to speak out, that needed to say anything. And from what I can tell, and if you if you haven't seen it, um, from what I can tell, it seems like everybody was very much on, on the up and up with making this. Now, you could argue that some of the accounts might be biased a little bit, just like it is with anything. But I think overall what it does is it exposes a lot of the just abuse and misbehavior on sets along with just inappropriate behaviors. And if you were trying to go, hey, maybe that stuff wasn't exactly what we thought it was. Um, the fact that Dan Snyder here, the producer uh, during that time at Nickelodeon, is making a video. This is like a puff piece from Hollywood Reporter where he is talking about it, taking some accountability, all, issuing apologies, all of these things, tells me that this stuff was actually happening. To what degree? Not totally sure, but things were happening because he's taking it very seriously. And a lot of people are saying Hollywood Reporter is platforming him to give him a, a way to like minimize the damage to this. And, and that might be possible as well. We'll talk about that in a second. But to get back to, to my initial point, though, a lot of the grifty channels, a lot of the chuddy channels, they say all the time that there's these abusive things happening. And I look today and none of them are talking about this. Nobody's talking about quiet on set. Nobody's talking about any of the actors that were talking about this. Nobody's talking about the interview with Dan Snyder here from Hollywood Reporter. They're not talking about any of this. None of the major channels are. And I'm like, that's really weird because this really does speak to all of the stuff they say about like what Disney is doing, what Warner Brothers is doing, what Star Wars is doing, what Marvel's doing, what Cartoon Networks, are, what video games are doing. This is actually a real thing. This is what's happening in reality. But they're talking about a bunch of like ambiguous you know, what about this and hypothetical stuff when you have something here that's solid, that's concrete, that you could actually talk about and discuss, they're ignoring it. And I'm sitting back and I'm like, why is that? Why are they not talking about something that fundamentally discusses the issues with abuse in Hollywood? And again, would be a slam dunk for them. And then I started looking around noticing that a lot of the channels that are covering this are suffering from no monetization on the videos, uh, reduced outreach. This video might end up getting hit with that. And it just doesn't seem to be profitable. And then it starts to make sense. I'm like, oh, of course. Of course, it always goes back to the money thing. So if you look at the channels now, the ones that probably could have talked about this and had a good, like done podcast after podcast after podcast, what are they talking about? They're still talking about Sweet Baby Inc. They're still talking about Star Wars Acolyte, about it being woke being connected to Harvey Weinstein, some of the, one of the people on, on the show or whatever. Um, Kathleen Kennedy's getting fired. Star Wars is dead. Uh, you know, X-Men 97 is woke. They're still talking about that stuff, but they're ignoring this. They're not talking about this. That's very telling to me. 
And it should be to you guys too. If you're one of the people that hate watches my channel and supports those guys, why are they not talking about this? Why is this not the number one thing that they're all kind of aligned together with and talking about? Something that actually exposes the quote unquote Hollywood elites and what they're doing with family content. Why is, why is this not being talked about? It's not because they don't know it. This is trending right now. It's everywhere. It's trending on uh, international. It's trending on United States. Um, Twitter, it's trending on YouTube. It's everywhere. People are talking about this. That's why the magazines are running this interview and stuff like that. So they didn't miss this. It's not, it's not like they didn't see it. They totally know, know this is out there. Um, it's really weird to me. And it's very telling. By the way, all of this is disgusting stuff. If you watch the documentary, and I'm about eight and a half minutes, we're not going to watch this here because this will definitely get hit. It's on Dan's channel. About eight eight minutes and some change into this video. And so far, it doesn't seem like he's denying like all the big stuff. He's so, sort of like offering apologies and acknowledging it and everything. So that's at least that part is, is a good thing that he's, I don't know, he might do it before the end of the video. But a lot of people are saying that he's getting platformed from magazines like Hollywood Reporter and other places because uh, they're trying to run defense for him. And it's possible. I don't know. I have no clue. I have to wait and see how this plays out. But if you have not seen this, I, I, I highly recommend go in and don't, if you have a weak stomach and, and stuff like this bugs you, you might want to take a few breaks here and there, but go in and watch it, check it out. Just lots of inappropriate stuff that really, really kind of makes you it makes you question everything that you loved when you were growing up. Like, was this happening to the shows that I watched? Was it happening on set of the, of the things that I enjoyed when I was growing up? It's very telling. And I'm again, utterly shocked that these channels are not going in on this. Um, take that for what you will, but I highly recommend checking out this documentary and uh, at least listening to this interview. So you can kind of see, the perspective of the, of the stuff with Dan. Um, I'm going to finish this up. I might follow up on this this week if we get some more news about it, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Why do you think that the grifty channels aren't talking about this? What is your thoughts on this? Um, Cause I can tell you now seeing them still talking about, I'm looking over here now at the, at the channels talking about like star Wars and all this other shit, making up stories about people seem to be more profitable than actually talking about legitimate abuse that is happening. They would rather talk about fairy tales than reality because there's more money in making up stuff than there is actually saying, hey, abuse was happening, we were right, and uh, you know this justifies it. 